Falling numbers is actually a very important test for millers especially. It actually gauges what the content of their bread quality is going to be. The very first process of falling numbers is we actually have Perton grinder machines and we will take a sample that is representative of about 250 grams of the sample that we actually graded for damage and defects and we will grind it down to a fine powder. Now when that fine powder comes through to the wet lab, we actually weigh it up to seven grams evenly. With that seven grams, we will actually put it into a tall test tube. And with that test tube, we have actually added our water base. We'll run them in doubles in the tubes and we'll put them into a shaker. The shaker will go back and forth for about 30 seconds. And when it's done, we only have a certain amount of time, I'd say probably about 15, 20 seconds, that you take that tube out and you will scrape the residual off the cap and we actually have stir sticks that you scrape the residuals off the side as well all the way down to the base of where the water is. You will actually put it in the incubating unit. Now what will happen after that uh, is set in there is there are sensor base and there's two little prongs that will come down and it picks those stir sticks up and it goes up and down motion and it'll do 60 repetitions. After those 60 repetitions, those forks will remove and we will have tall uh, stir sticks is what it looks like and they're metal and they will slowly start to drop. Now when those stoppers finally come to a certain point and stop, it will result in your numbers on those machines and with us running two at the same time, we will actually take the, the average of both of those to, to get your actual uh, falling number result. The lower number that you get for falling number, the lower quality of bread you're actually going to receive in the batch. The higher number that you actually get in a falling number is going to result in a higher quality of bread. For example, when you go to a store and you see a bunch of holes in bread, that means it was a lower falling number and lower quality grain was actually used to mill that. When you get your high quality bread, you're not going to have as much holes in it. You'll have wholesome bread itself and it holds better together. That is a, the result of a higher falling number.